Flying in the backcountry can be very rewarding. You can share remote places with your friends. To fly safely in the backcountry, you have to respect your own limits and also the airplane and the pilot have to be ready for the mission. In my case, I fly a Cessna 182 that is equipped with Stalking VGs, bigger tires, empty two blade propeller. What I consider one of the best safety enhancements in my airplane is the angle of attack indicator. The heads up display gives you a visual clue of how much lift you got so you can get all the performance out of your airplane. For this kind of flame it's a really good tool because it keeps you safe. You can be at slow speed and uh, still warning going off but you know you have lift. There is a misconception that Angle of attack indicator is only for short feet landings and backcountry flying. It's a great tool in every aspect of flying and for aerobatics it's really useful. Angle of attack indicator teaches you the proper way to fly, not by airspeed but by angle of attack. This instrument complemented with an airspeed indicator is a great tool to have. I have been using an angle of attack indicator for more than 2000 hours and I really trust it and works really good. You don't need to land at super short strips or gravel bars. For example, Mahoney Creek here is a beautiful backcountry strip in Idaho. You still have the high density altitude challenges, but this has no obstacles on either approach and is pretty long. This view, we are landing at Mahoney Creek. I like this view because it shows actually the wing and the angle of attack. Angle of attack indicator is useful for any kind of flying. It can be a twin engine or a fast airplane or just if you fly for your Sunday $100 burger. Here we are taking off from Marble in Idaho. The altitude is 4,700 feet. Density altitude was about 6,000 feet. Uh, the light is not very good to show the AOA, but once we get in a little bit of shade, you can see I'm climbing with two yellow lights, which means VX. So it helps a lot for takeoffs also. And it's really good because the AOA compensates for high density altitude and weight, so no guessing. The display looks much better in real life than in video. In real life you see them clearly. Now this is a landing at Marble. Still warning going off, but I see the AOA display and it show has lots of leaf left. So it is really safe to approach at this speed. Without the AOA I would not feel safe from this slope. Here we are climbing out of the 
Hicken in Washington. We are climbing at VY again. We don't have to guess the airspeed because the angle of attack indicator compensates for weight and density altitude. Once you start using the angle of attack indicator and you learn to trust it, first I went and practiced a lot of hours at slow speed and stalled and see the light and really get to trust it. But once you get to trust it and use it, what it gives you it will be safety and make you a very consistent pilot. This search trip is Wilson Bar in Idaho. The angle of attack probe instantaneously measures different ram air pressure across two ports at the bottom of the probe. This differential pressure reading is then directly correlated and no matter your altitude, attitude, speed or weight, you will always stall at the same angle of attack and the same differential pressure. What is angle of attack? The angle of attack is defined as the angle at which relative wind meets an airfoil or the core of the wind on the flight path. Every aircraft has a defined angle of attack from cruise to stall. Too high of an Having the heads up display over the glare shield is the best since you don't have to look down in the panel. This is the schematics. Go from the probe, the two airlines, one to the switch panel and the other one to the AOA module, then to the AOL display. Installation took about 8 hours in the Cessna 182 and about 6 hours in the CJ6 Ninja. This is the kit with the heads up display. If any of you are interested, please email me and I can give you discounts in Alpha Systems AOA indicators. This is my email right here, so feel free to send me an email if you have questions or you want to get one. Without an angle of attack indicator, the angle of attack is invisible to the pilots, and in certain configurations and attitudes, you might not realize you are approaching the stall. An angle of attack indicator offers a visual indication of the amount of lift the wing is producing. We fly by airspeed, we have to adjust the airspeed for different CG, weight and density altitude. We have to be guessing for VX and VY, depending on the weight. Here I'm showing a stall in the CJ6 Nancha. This display is newer than the one I have on the Cessna 182, so you can see more clear the lights in the video. You can see where it's stalling. I have gear down and flaps down and the number of lights will be consistent in every aspect of flight. No matter weight, density, altitude, the display will always show the same number of lights showing the angle of attack when it's stall. And it compensates for weight, density, altitude, bank angle, airspeed, g-load. So it is very consistent and this is why the angle of attack indicator is so good. Here we do a bar roll and it shows we have plenty of lift during the whole maneuver. I found that the AOA indicator is great for aerobatics too. Now we do a loop and you can see at the top of the loop the AOA increases although it shows the uh, airspeed is very low but since we are in a zero g or almost zero g uh, there is no stall speed for that that's fine at zero g the airplane cannot stall and at 0.5 g's the stall speed is a lot slower than at 1 g or 2 g's so with the aoe indicator you don't have to be guessing what speed what g's you're doing you just see the it's a display that will show you the amount of lift you have. This is a standard pattern in the CJ6 Nanchan for turning base to final. You can see the lights on the display. And we're turning to final and you will see when we touch down it's almost at the minimum lift 
you see that we will not float or we will not sink. Angle of attack indicator is a great tool. It will make you a more consistent pilot, a safer pilot, and you can squeeze more performance out of your airplane. Safely. Hope you guys enjoy and I would like to show you how to become a patron and support Back Country 182 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. It is very easy to join. To be a patron of Back Country 182, go to the uh, YouTube channel. On the right hand side, there is the link. And then it takes you to the patron page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Back Country 182 YouTube channel. Also, another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Back Country 182 channel. There is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it will be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support. wife and today we're excited to announce the launching of patreon for our youtube channel bad country 182 which give fans and friends the opportunity to support creators like larry and myself by paying a monthly amount and receiving exclusive content so with your support to Patreon, we will be able to make more and better content more often on new videos and larry can connect with you more personally hear your questions and concerns and what we would like to see. The really cool thing of being a patron is that every dollar amount does help. So go ahead and check out the videos. You can be a fan and look through our goals to see what we will be able to achieve together at every level of support. Come join us and be part of our adventure.